Why, hello everyone! I'm your lovely host, Sinison, and welcome back to Sally Face! Episode 4 is finally out! Gosh, it's been a long time! I barely even remember what happened in the last two, three episodes. I'm not going to replay them because they're already on my channel. Uh, last episode, episode 3, I believe, was about baloney. And what went into baloney? Now, if you're watching these out of order, these might be a little bit, uh, weird, so, <laughs> sorry. And if you're watching these in order in a playlist well after they've come out all, like, same time-ish, <laughs> um, you're probably going to remember more than me, <laughs> because it's been months since the last one came out. Uh, I do remember that it was people that went into the baloney, and that the orange-haired boy was in a padded room and that the psychiatrist is dead. And I also remember, <laughs> and let's hope they fix this, that my continue is always bugged. So let's, let's, uh, let's see. Can, can we... Hello? Another book pedestal, but this one has nothing on it. Excuse me? Didn't we already go through this? Yeah, we already went through this. Okay. I'll skip through this quickly then. So you gonna let me play the next episode now? Please? Yes! I think. Oh, okay. Okay. Why are you covered in blood, sweetie? Why is there more blood? What did you do? Sal, sweetie, what happened? 3.33 a.m. Lovely. I'm awake, I'm awake already. Are we in Wonderland? There's blood on the table. Exit question mark? Are we in another dream? Yes, we're in another dream. Beelzebub, what are you doing here? Who are you? I am... Lord Beelzebub! Oh, really? So you're like the devil or something? No, it's a nickname. Bestowed upon me by my kin. Family can be rough. Indeed. Can I get into that door? You've only just arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. Okay. You must first admire my art. Your art? Yes. In the dark there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts you must gaze upon three. Once you have done so, report back to me. Alright, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beelzebub. Lord Beelzebub. Okay, bubs. I'll be right back. One. Oh, is anybody in here? Lovely. There was a knock on the door, and I could see again. It, I was me again. Suddenly, it forced my hand, and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything. A prisoner in my own mind. I've done terrible things. Unforgivable things. Okay. How about we go the other way then? Okay. Good to know. We got number one. Number two. Let's check this way again and again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about the other way? What's this way? There's sin. What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. 
The burning lights of the gods have faded. The watchful eyes turn to horrified screams, and then everything is black. Okay, Edgelord. What about door number three? Oh, uh, it's this way. Trap and roll. I was broken before he found me, scattered and lost, and then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me, and we were in love, and everything was perfect, until it all fell apart again, now there's only my pain. Okay. You have fun with your pain. Lovely. What's behind door number four? It's locked. Um. Well, that was it. Okay. Sure. Beelzebub. So, hearing eyes, they're filled with regret and sorrow, their sins, they're in a lot of pain, and they're heartbroken. Can I go through the door now? Once you go through that door, there's no going back, thank you. You're welcome. See ya, bubs. You know what? I don't want to go through the other doors. It's fine. I don't need to. I don't need all the secrets. I'm good. Phoebe! Lovely! Oh. I see. Huh? Oh. Okay. This is older Sal. Isn't he cute? Charger? Ooh, where's my cell phone? Or one. GameCube! Sorry. Please work. Gizmo! Hi, Gizmo. Dude, really? What do you keep doing with these stickers? Okay. We just updated the lock and I'm not sure what Todd set the new code to. What? So you're... Hmm. Are you not in the apartment? I mean, this is older. So, so maybe. It's the front door. What's upstairs? Neil. Morning, Salio. What happened? What's happening? Hey, Neil. No pigtails today, huh? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> yeah. You feeling alright, man? You seem out of it. Nightmares are keeping me up. Sorry to hear that. You could be stressed. I have trouble sleeping when I'm stressed out, too. Anything you want to talk about? No, you're right. It's probably just stress. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs, you should have a cup. It'll do you good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. Thanks. Maybe I will. Not a problem, Salio. I can't go anywhere with that way. Thanks, Neil. Okay, let's check the fucking- wait, can I go get a cup of coffee? 
Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Yeah, I didn't. Neil loves this stuff, but I hate it. Oh, fine. Okay, door. Trash and boxes and... There's my phone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's so bright outside. You went out in the backyard. Why can't you go out in the front yard, bitch? No, the fuck? Our very own local mystery. In other news, Knockville Mill was engaged in... Engulfed in flames this morning, firefighters rushed to the scene, but the time they were able to eliminate the fires, the majority of the building and materials had already been destroyed. The factory has been a major source of employment for our small town since 1934. This is the third time the building has caught fire, though never have we seen such a devastation as today. The authorities believe the fire to be a result of foul play, but couldn't say any more at this time. Earlier this year, we also was also the anniversary of the previous fire, the second largest of the three, where over 20 people died. Luckily, this time there was no casualties. However, three factory workers are currently in the hospital with minor injuries. Currently, it is unclear as to whether the owners can afford to rebuild the mill. They have been on a slow decline for the past decade, and have been struggling financially. If they don't rebuild, many families will lose their main source of income. We'll keep you updated as we receive more details. Okay. Good to know. No, I want to go explore the bathroom because it's allowing me to click on things that don't give a prompt. There's no exit. I don't know what the new code is. E. I don't know. I don't know. Gizmo, do you know the secret? You have one singular shit. Let's go back into my room. <laughs> I like all the different masks he has. Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> These are I like I like them. Okay. Oh well, let me just load. I want to spam it. Okay, what am I missing? Hello? Have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the path. Didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it back in. Almost forgot it. Thanks, I didn't realize I left it outside. No worries, happens to the best of us. Here you go, man. Thanks. Where's Todd? He has glasses this morning. All right. How's the ghost setting? Todd was saying has been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow? I wish... Er... I mean, yeah, slow. It's been slow. You boys trying to keep me protected again, aren't ya? It's sweet, but you know I can handle myself, right? Plus, I am two years older than y'all, too. No, I know it's just that we... Yeah, yeah, four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect that loyalty beyond that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. <laughs> You're gonna keep... I heard that lovely Ash is coming to town today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. So, that's a no one the excitement, then. No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know... I'm tired today. There's still coffee downstairs calling your name. Salad face, come get some. 
Did you hear strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was watching TV? No, it wasn't that. It was kind of like a... Ugh, never mind. Probably was the nightmares. Gosh, man, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's work going? Ah, oh, shoot, work! I'm supposed to be covering morning show today. Gotta run, Salio. Catch you later. Goodbye. Allow me to explore everything else. There's a note from Todd to me. Q. Got my cell phone. Sal, here's the new code. Or, oh, I'm just gonna take a picture of that because I know I'm fucking gonna forget it, bitch. <laughs> I know I'm fucking gonna forget that. Okay. Good to fucking know. Good to fucking know. Let's open the shed because we fucking can. <laughs> I don't understand why we need the fucking shed, but we do. We have it. For what? I don't know. But it's here. I don't know why Gizmo learned to turn on the TV, but I like it. Okay. Four. Oh. Three. Five. Three. Six. Four. Ha ha ha! Open the shed. Lovely. Bored. I can't believe we've been working on this for five years now. It feels like the more connections we find, the less sense it makes. Is the cult still operating? If so, then where are they all? I don't know, man. It was cool of Rob to give us some funds for the new equipment. When he found out what we were up to, he basically thought we were real-life ghost nappers. Huh? What's this loose tape? Oh, lovely. Phantom. Hi. I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him. I can feel it. Like a distant memory itching at the back of my skull. His image is fleeting. It flickers in and out of view. It's as if he's trapped in a parallel reality. A phantom. Just out of reach. Or perhaps I am the Phantom, and he resides in the land of the living. I've cried for his attention, but I don't think that he can see or hear me. Okay. Okay. So we're finding VHS tapes. Got it. Fucking got it. I guess not. You have any good? No, you don't. Not really in the mood. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I'll check back in a minute. <laughs> okay. Wow. Charge the phone, check back in here, because I don't know what the fuck this is, but I want to know. Why is there a room that doesn't have any lights on and that doesn't say anything when I go near it? Hmm. Oh, 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 wait. Still too bright outside. Got it! Alright, let's go back upstairs and check up there. Hey! <laughs> Has been enough time that my phone is charged. I don't know. Looks like it's charged now. There's a new message from Larry. You. Uh, use. Are you awake? Reply. I am now. What's up? Something is wrong with Addison Apartments. Other than ghosts and creepy basement? 
I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me a few minutes. Okay, text me when you're ready. Ready. On the way now. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, don't get a hunkaroos about all I'm coming! Okay, hi. Oh, okay. The trial! The trial! There was a trial going on. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true that you had initially started, stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So are you admitting lying in your original statements? Yes. I was in shock from what happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say. Whether they believe me or not. I hope for their sake that they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there is still a killer on the loose in Knackbell? That all of the evidence present today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, and the eyewitness accounts, that all of these things were some elaborate cover-up, created by... Who? The County Police Department. If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told in chronic chronologically, in order to prevent details from being taken out of context. Well, more so that they've already have been. I'll allow it. Please continue with your testament, Mr. Fisher, but realize that we'll expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. Okay. <laughs> I'm so fucking ready. I'm telling you, dude. Something is seriously wrong. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since it was blasted years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the super gear boy and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That's a little odd. Though, who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were finally able to pass on. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like something under my skin is crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before a storm or some shit. I can, I can feel it. Huh. What? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too. Like, everything is foggy and there's something there. Just beyond the fog. Just, just waiting. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartments. So are you gonna come check it out or what? Of course I will. Okay, so... S should... Oh. Should we get caught? He has class today. Oh, all right, I was hoping you have a new gadget or something. Let's go. Oh, all right, I was hoping he was having a new gadget. Yeah, we got that one already. He's been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet, so that's not to mess with it. Hopefully it works better than the box thing he made last year. Yeah, I like to keep my guitar in one piece. Never Rock Cemetery. So are you all packed up? Almost. Want to get the rest moved over this weekend? It'd be nice to finally get out of the basement. Well, I said we could use the van too. Sweet. Yeah. God sees all. Madison Apartments. Looks like you're right about the storm. Oof. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Right behind you. Mr. Addison's been storing this stuff in here for so long. 
But he doesn't even remember what's in all these boxes. They're probably filled with stuff when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest are like old clothes, old tea sets, cookbooks. Just a bunch of old junk. Larry. What? You snoop through Terrence's things? Well, yeah, dude. How could I not? The guy never leaves his room. Plus, I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved with the cult or hiding bodies in here or anything weird. But it's all normal, boring old man stuff. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Okay. So, oh, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing on this fine day? We're doing okay. How about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. No, of course, we do miss having our dear old Sal Fisher with us, and I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. I'll miss it here. Oh, wrong person. <laughs> I'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of the basement. Plus, we're only right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both. You know, I wish you boys would nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Terrence. Who's this place again? Why did they leave all of Roseburg's stuff here again? Addison thinks that she's not on vacation or something, that she'll just come back. I don't think that's going to happen. Old chair. I'm still not really sure what happened to her. You said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. Oh, alright, I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while and then stopped them. Or tried to stop them. Which would have made her super old. Uh, which that would make sense though if she had powers why would Rosenberg just mope around this little apartment maybe she was too old or maybe she'd just given up if I had powers I would never retire I'd be getting into all kinds of trouble <laughs> I know you would okay it's a trip down memory lane ah, Mr. Gibson yeah, what do you want, Sal? Uh, why is he here? Hey, Mrs. Gibson. We were... Well, that's about par for the course. That lady she couldn't sure to hold a grudge, huh? <laughs> Alright. Let's go to... Fifth floor. <laughs> we'll start at the top and go to the bottom. Hey. It's still being renovated. A Holy shit, Pickle! You made a mistake. What the hell, man? The end will be us all. What does that even mean? You can't be staying in here. Darkness blinds. Don't scare the shit out of me. Got the bum slipping up here before, too. I wonder what he meant. Just sounded like crazy gibberish to me, man. I don't think it was crazy gibberish. He's saying he kind of disappeared. Huh? What was it? It's a tooth. Gross, dude! You picked it up with your bare hands! I'm just gonna leave it there. What if we need it for something? What if we could- What, what, what would we need someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally Face, and this is my friend Larry. We research paranormal and occult activity in the town of Knockfell, where everything weird can happen and does. Good point. <laughs> I don't think he was just a normal hobo, Larry. Just saying. Uh, he seemed to kind of be a little bit corporeal. Why is there green ooze there? You want to, can, I, can I click on this? No, I cannot. Fuck. 
502? What was your number? Huh? What? Looks like there's a hidden panel in the bottom of the birdcage I never noticed before. That's weird. There's a loose screw on it. Looks like someone had tried to open it. I'll need a screwdriver or something to open this. Well, there's probably some screwdriver in the basement. Five oh three, what's your number? Found it. <laughs> it's mine. Hunger. Hunger has been tearing at my stomach and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this fucking prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing! Nothing. Just glimpses of life beyond my reach. I wish they would open the goddamn vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish this would all end. I need this to end. Well, okay then. That's fun! See, we're finding VHS tapes. I like voicing her. She's fun. Alright. 504, what's your number? You're following me for this one. Did you remove these? Yeah, I did it this morning when I was looking around. Okay, let's double check in here. Uh, Stacy, are you there? Nothing on the gear, boy. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. I hope she's at least with Megan. Oh, let's go into the hole. We went through the hole. Hello, is anybody there? Noose? So much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. As much as I want to hate Luke for what he did, music changed. I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on—he brought it on himself by helping the council summon the demon. It just sucks that he had to get Stacy and make him caught up in it. Do you think he's really dead? The red eye demon? Yeah, I, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seemed a little too easy, uh, didn't it? I know what you mean. I thought about the same thing before, but we haven't seen any signs of it for years now. What if, like, we only wounded it and it's just waiting in the dark somewhere until it gets better? And we blast it back to hell again when it shows up. Fair enough. Okay. Back to the hole. So was there anything else this way? Just the hole, just the hole. Got it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Check me out the way. Bathroom. Megan? Hello? Are you with us? Nothing on the super gear boy. Hey. Where did her necklace go? Huh? I didn't notice it was gone before. That's weird. Maybe that's why she's not coming out. What about the rest of them? I don't know. Hmm. That's not good. And there's no more this way, so I guess we're just gonna check the other floors now. Hmm. Floor, 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 floor. Mm -hmm. Robert's place. Robert. Hey, there's my ghost snappers. Hey, dude. Hey, Rob. 
Oh, goes the hunting. It's dead around here. None of the ghosts have been showing up for a little while now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We aren't sure yet, but we're looking into it. <laughs> I see. Have you noticed anything strange lately? Anything at all? Oh, I got this weird lump in the left butt cheek. You guys could take a look. Whoa, I don't know if we're qualified for that. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. My bottom's as smooth as butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> Larry, you fucking goofball. Their, their, their voices are almost exactly the fucking same. It's fine. Dad! Oh. Hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hey, guys! <laughs> hey, fellas! Yo! Hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Um, a couple weeks ago? <laughs> uh, Sal. Oh, wrong person. <laughs> Sal. We should have dinner together tonight. Come on, what do you say, boys? Lisa's gonna show me the secret to making your lasagna. Your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Oh, thank you, sweetie. I'm not gonna say no to a free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight, but if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Larry ins instant message you or whatever you kids do once dinner's ready. It's called texting, Dad. <laughs> right, right, that! Sounds good. So that's not weird. That's not weird at all. Hmm. But you know what? They're happy. That's that's all that can that's all that can Yep. That's office, so Sal's bedroom got turned into the office. Hmm. Okay. This this cute that's cute! Mm, that's cute! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Mr. Sanderson? Oh, sorry. We didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hi, Larry. I was just saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Knockfield tonight, I just... I need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you... Um, it sounded a bit odd, but... Have you, either of you, uh, seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. No one here, I was afraid of this. What was my angel doing? I haven't been able to contact her at all. She misses you a lot. She's lonely here, but we haven't seen her for a while. My poor Sandy. She didn't deserve this. What is it that you are afraid of? Huh? You said I was afraid of this. Of what exactly? Ah. Uh, never mind. I'm, I'm just upset, that's all. Would you boys me do me a favor and just... Give me a moment alone here. Yeah, Mr. Sanderson, that's no problem. Well, let us know if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. Okay. Hmm. There's a tape here, but it's broken. But I want it. Oh. I guess I can't have it. Okay. Huh. I see. You let the her learn the idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm laying low, waiting for the right moment. Either way, we'll find the idea. Yeah, yeah. Floor number three, coming right up. EJ, <laughs> what's up, guys? 
<coughs> Doing all these boy voices hurts my throat. Oh. Hey, CJ, are you having a party tonight or something? I've been seeing Siri and her coming over later. Gonna be like old times. You two should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Oh, cool. Go, CJ. CJ plays David's plays. David! Hey, Sal. Hey, Larry. What? What are you zoom to? Hey, David. We're just checking in with everyone. How are things going? That's awfully kind of you. Well, I'm afraid I can't talk much at the moment. Sarah isn't feeling well, you see, so I gotta take care of her. Sorry to hear that. Hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thank yous. Thank yous both. Okie dokie. Hey, guys! Hi, Sal. Uh, hey, Larry. Sally face! Oh, sorry, Soda. Sally face! Hey, guys. Yo. You do look like you're up to no good as usual. Glad to see something stay the same. Oh, are you guys working on another one of your secret cases? Wouldn't be a secret if we told you, now, would it? Okay. I suppose not. Shh. How are you two? We're good. You know, ups and downs. Mostly good, though. Yeah, have you- how have you been, Sal? I haven't seen you around in a little while. I've been okay. Keeping busy with school and whatnot. So, Chuck, I heard that your parents moved out? They left a few months ago. Too crowded in here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us privacy. <laughs> it's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to visit my parents tonight. Are you okay to watch Soto while I'm gone, babe? Of course. Notice anything weird? Nope, it's been nice and ghost-free. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. Goodbye. Hi, Soda. Hey, yeah, Soda. How's my best baby doing? <laughs> Want to go for a ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders? Oh, Sal, she's been a has a bit of a rash right now. You might not want to pick her up. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Mommy? Yes, love? Oh, I don't want to go saw the shoulders. Not today, Muffin, okay? Remember what I said this morning. Oh, okay. No, oh, don't worry, little so. If you take the medicine you got from the doctor this morning, we'll have you flying around in no time. <laughs> promise? And I promise. You bet. <laughs> ah, they had a baby. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? What did I just pick up? Another tooth? Yeah, maybe it's a clue or something. Ew, Sally, why are you picking up teeth, bitch? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you touching teeth? I mean, <laughs> I understand. Not gonna lie, when I was out camping, somebody found a tooth and I was just like, Oh, a tooth! <laughs> Man, it still reeks in here. Yeah, it does. Wow! Knock, knock! Ooh. Oh, God, I can't! Why is there green going out the drain? Getting any readings on the gear boy here? Nope, even your little goat buddy's hiding. That's just rude. Fine then. Bedroom number two. Ooh, lovely. I should have known these guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. I don't know if they even cleared this place out overnight or with just two of them. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops when Mrs. Sanderson died, too. I saw them leaving in the morning. I saw them, too, remember? Yeah, maybe that's why they came overnight. 
because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. That still hasn't been able to figure them out in their tridentes, huh? No. But I could have sworn I saw one of them going into the church a few weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye out every day now. We've been having a lot of meetings over there. It's like a normal church thing, though. Meetings and whatnot. Can be nothing. Or it could be something. That church did always give me the creeps. We went up to Chapel Hill a few times for holiday when I was younger. I've been talking to Todd about setting up some hidden cameras and audio recordings up there, just to check it out. Well, I'm down for some good old B plus E. B plus E? Breaking and entering. Come on, dude! Oh, right. Ah, uh, yeah, here's what they were putting in the baloney. Mmm, good shit. Good fucking shit. I wonder what they did with Mr. Packerton's body. Well, at least he wasn't served as lunch meat. Yeah, hopefully not. Poor Mr. Packard. What? Huh? There's a tear in the carpet here. I can't pull it up by hand, though. Oh, so we need pliers and a screwdriver. Got it. Got it. Oh, yeah, Janice. Sally Face and Larry Bear, this is a pleasant surprise. Hi, Janice. Hey, what brings you two here? Looking for ghosts. You poison my daughter like peas in a pot, aren't you? <laughs> hey, that rhymed. <laughs> Have you seen anything weird lately? All the time, Sally. Life is full of things both strange and beautiful, don't you think? Definitely. Cool, cool. What's in the bathroom? Did those? Did those boys just go into the bathroom together? <laughs> Greg? Are you here? Hello? Not getting anything on the Super Gear Boy either. Janice, you're way too high out of your cord, sweetie. But you know, it is something questionable <laughs> to ask about. Did those boys just go into the bathroom together? Hmm. Yeah. Hey, Ray. <laughs> hey, guys, Larry, you're back for more already? I'm cool, Ray, thanks. Hey, Mr. Morrison. Well, ah, have you been my god yet? What do you think? It's great. Isn't it, though? It's a thing of true beauty. How'd you get all this stuff anyway? <laughs> if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that really isn't exactly legal, per se, so I appreciate you guys keeping it a little secret. And of course, I'd be happy to supply you with some of our produce whenever you like. Your secret is safe with us. You don't have to worry about that. I'm telling this to a court. Whoops. I didn't think so, but you can never be too safe. I know Todd isn't super fond of the fact that we turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. He also knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. Aw. He's lucky to have such loving parents. And such good friends! I'm damn proud of you all, boys! I'm damn proud of you! Oh, achievement unlocked. Catching up. It's well, probably for the best. I don't want to see what goes on in their bedroom. Ever. <laughs> Did you see on the news that they saw it said Charlie was going to be released? I did, but that's not the real Charlie. Where do you think he is now? Uh, the real Charlie, I mean. It's likely the cult probably has him killed. Or, or killed him. Maybe he ended up in the baloney. Ugh! As much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into baloney. Charlie was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I was starting to like him before we thought he was a murderer. And we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't our fault. We couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. So nightmares about that.
Hello? Nothing over here. Let's go to the bathroom. There's either blood or rust in the toilet. Yummy. Okay, what's in 203? Okay, you're following me with this one. A pocket knife? Score! Nice! That could come in handy. I could use that with either the carpet or the screwdriver, but I think getting a screwdriver from the basement would be a lot easier. Yeah, we'll go to the basement now. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. That really needs to be restocked. It's weird leaving after living here for so long. I felt that way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change I didn't know I needed at the time. So I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Dad. I can't wait for that, honestly. Still, I, and I know I'm not going far, but it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. You okay? I'm cool. Let's just keep looking around. Well, you don't have any teeth. I wanted to see some teeth. Okay, fine. I feel like go in there when I can't do anything in there. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were headbanging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. <laughs> you were so worried about my bloody nose I didn't even notice it at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then I told you it was fine. Why did you cry? You didn't look away. Oh, baby. And this is where a man died. <laughs> Still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It, it doesn't feel real. I... Uh... I don't... I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. Uh, you're horrible keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before, but I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? Just do it! Look, it's been hard keeping this from you, but I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't, and I didn't want to upset you, but... I think your dad has been con contacting me, somehow. What?! I'm not sure if it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not tell you about him. He says that if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. It's your father, then I... Well, I don't think that he's 100% human. But the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult, to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. You mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think that your dad was an alien or something. Crash landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. He was with his sister, Evelyn. But she died in the crash or got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened to her. You're gonna say something about all this? You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to brought my dad into a hero. And the aliens? Really? Dude, that didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry, I swear. All right, dude, it's fine. We, can we just drop this for now? Okay, but we're going to talk about this more later. I'm not making this up. Okay, we just came out here for some exposition about your fucking dad? Jeez. Now I have to walk all the way fucking back. God damn it. No, oh, um. Well. At least it's pretty. At 
least it's fucking pretty. <laughs> oh, Lisa really did move in. Oh, that's sweet. Any more cheese? That's just a lot of green ooze. Mmm, delicious! Delicious. Shit, must have dropped the key somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remembered having it? I have no idea. Could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll show up somewhere. Okie dokie! It's another tooth! The tooth will set you free. Do no. <laughs> that was a bad pun, Larry. Oh. Okay, let's go up to the fifth floor. Figure out that bird cage situation. I don't remember where it was at. Hey. You don't need a screwdriver. You could use WC. Use. Hey, I was right. Okay. West South North Okay, so we need an E and a C. That's fucking lovely. Okay, now I need to remember what floor uh the carpet was on. I don't remember. It was in one of the abandoned ones, right? I know. This is tape. Not that one, so it must have been the next floor. Okay. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything. <laughs> but it's nice to be back in the apartment. Is it in this one? No. Then where was it at? Was it on floor two? Gosh, I am. I have such a bad memory. Pods, Packertons, Milk Range. Are they sold tapes? Is it this one? I don't know. I, I, I guess it was in the room next door? This place didn't even have a bedroom, apparently. This place? Question mark? This is just a one- This isn't even a one bedroom condo. This is just a kitchen and a space. Hmm. That's suspicious. Was it in Packerton? I remember that I needed to see it, but I don't remember where it was at. It was right here! <laughs> yes. Hey, I was right! Give me! Oh no. Uh, 
Excuse me? Bitch, I don't remember. At all. Come on, just give me my teeth. I want my teeth. Give me my missing two teeth. There's something. Good lady, let's see. Just okay, okay, okay. What am I missing? You know what? Let's just go through all the floors again and fucking rethink our life's existence. Oh, that worked! Yeah, bitch! Bridge. Why? Why won't you answer me? Every passing moment just silently staring down upon me with no remorse? They're gathering as we speak and they mean to open a vortex. Perhaps into this world. A bridge between us and them. Does that not arouse your attention in any way at all? Sometimes I wonder if you're even real. If there's anyone behind that lens or just a corpse decaying at the hem. My pleas for help infinitely echoing into the vast emptiness of death. Okay, then. But I mean, if all three of us are down, I'm down. <laughs> I don't really care what people would say. What do you think? Uh, yeah, sure. Really? I wasn't sure if you'd be into that idea. should probably revisit this conversation again later. My mind is a little fuzzy right now. You glitched out again while I was talking, didn't you? I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. I <laughs> know you can't control it. Did you get anything useful from it this time? I think so, but I'm still trying to piece it together. That's good, I guess. Hello, what else here? Hello. Okay, we're just gonna go this way then. You're still existing. Alright, let's go to floor three. How about that, huh? David, CJ, uh, Chug, and this one. Hey, this one. Hey! <laughs> This is where another tooth was, but I don't think there's another tooth here now. So... That's fun. There's nothing that way. So let's go down to the second floor! Because I don't know where anything is and I'm lost. Todd's parents, Packerton. Okay. So this is where the safe was and I don't remember anything about the safe. Safe, and there's no blood anywhere. I mean, there's a blood stain, but I, I, I can't interact with the blood anymore. The, the icky, icky bathroom. Okay, we're never going to touch that again. If I remember. Um, yeah, I don't remember anything about this code. I don't. I, I, I don't remember anything about this code. If it was something I needed to know. That's fun. Um, that's Karen's place, elevator, 203, and Charlie's old place. Charlie. Did you leave anything for me, Charlie? I don't think you did. <laughs> bathroom. Yicky, 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 the bathroom. Got it. Is there anything that way? No. And then 203, which was... I don't remember. I think we already found a tooth in here. Maybe? I don't know! I don't remember. But I know we're still missing two teeth. So that just leaves floor number one. And there's not... Yeah, you know, just Mrs. Rosenberg's, right? Yeah, and I don't think she's. That's that's a no go. Oh, there's a tooth! I found a tooth. You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth. Stop it. 
Okay, so I have one more tube. Uh, what about here? Is there any teeth in here that I can have? No. But I want the teeth! Give me the teeth! Okay, let's try going to the basement again. Maybe there's something in the, uh, the thing. The thing. <laughs> this thing. Something that I missed. There has to be, right? There has to be something that I miss. Because I'm missing one too. Yeah, I have east, now I'm missing the center one. <laughs> I, I, I want the tooth. Give me the tooth. Nothing but the tooth. <laughs> we never speak of that. Anyway, if you liked what you just watched, feel free to click or tap here and it will take you to the latest video on my channel. Or you can let the YouTube algorithms choose a video it thinks you'll like. Magic! And of course, you can click or tap over here to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Come join the cult! We're always open to new members. <laughs> Anywho, I hope to see you all soon. Peace out. Bye-bye!